Oh, seven everyone, it is the laid back launcher here, back with another Work on 4 video. Today we're continuing along with the new 2024 November update with the origin of the Scorpion Empire, mission number two, Babre. I don't speak French, you have to forgive me profusely for potentially butchering your admittedly beautiful language, but as a Bulgarian American, I could not be farther away from your language unless I was Arabic or speaking Mandarin or Japanese or Korean, um, or perhaps any host of other East Asian or African languages. I do speak a bit of Spanish and other Romance language that may help me out with the French, but um, i gonna be honest, not a huge fan of French or France, really. I've been there and yeah not, not not a huge fan especially in paris i am more of a mountain slash realistic kind of guy mission number two love 60 medals some gold some industry not much to mention yada 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 i read this uh read this dialogue before it didn't see anything that might be mission critical in the present or in the future we have 15 turns, 0 income, 0 nuclear weapons, 10 generals. And it seems that we'll have to be getting the clerk. You're already familiar with him. Goulemont, who you are somewhat familiar from the Scorpion Empire general uh, missions. And Alfred, who is an inf who is a real Chad looking infantry slash air commander. Uh, it seems that we're going to have to get them through their extraction points in the west and in the south respectively. If we mess up, then I suppose this explains the origin of the Scorpion Empire. You have to forgive me for the mixed up music. I should have put this on repeat because I do quite like the song and I don't want to get copyrighted on all of my music. I got this artist called uh, Bomul from one of my favorite YouTubers, a van life YouTuber called Foresty Forest, who really does a service for explaining alternate lifestyles like van life very well. Absolute child of a man. Even though he's bald. <laughs> Sorry, Foresty. Sorry, bud. Uh, we also have Gaimon on our side again. He has the following bonus. You know, rumor. Fighting spirit should be fairly familiar at this point. We have prudence, no idea what this means. It basically means that you can't get demoralized and you have a regionalized counterattack bonus. And inspiration, you all know what that does. He can't even, okay, yeah. I guess that's what happens when you have a three star armor bonus. Genius. This is going to be my secondary infantry commander, Moretz Goff, configured like so. And let's splash him up a little bit. Um, 390 on an engineering unit, he can build tunnels. That's more of a support role. This is going to be Chenault, who's configured to be an economic infantry bonus general. I would like to get more of my commanders into the fight ASAP. Let's send him up to the city. Let's see what happens. It turns Wagner onto our side. It sounds like he was about to commit a war crime. And then he immediately turned sides. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Let's just get rid of this medic because... Despite having worked for the United Nations in the past, the Geneva Conventions are more of a Geneva suggestions for me. I'm going to deploy towards Luxembourg because I can see that there's some kind of economic slash industrial slash technological bonus to capturing that city. You always want to deploy your Brandenburgers first. This is what Malinovsky is configured like. I put him on a front line unit because I like to send him deep behind the enemy lines. And you know who's up next. It's gonna be Gadarian. Who I still, oh my god, even last time, 
It's not the, it's not gonna be Gadarian, it's gonna be Rommel, who's my, I guess, my new infantry, com uh, my new tank commander, who is equipped with inspiration and all this kind of stuff. I'm pretty sure I swore that I moved armor assaults and uh, Panzer Leader medals to Gadarian, but I guess I haven't. But that's fine because Rommel actually has more mobility in a mission like this. I'd rather have mobility than straight damage output. Remember, Lieb is configured for plane fighting, even though he would have a bonus from fighting in the forest or the mountains, so I'm gonna send him down there. I'm gonna be sending Rommel to the west to liberate these guys since he does have that mobility bonus. And instead, I'm gonna be clearing the escape path to the east with these guys. I'm going to try to be pretty easy with Gaimon because if I was easy tech, I would set up this mission to incorporate some new elements. They've already incorporated the extractions. That's pretty cool. But uh, if I lose a friendly Scorpion Empire general, then I would anticipate that I'd, you know, probably have some roiling feelings of antipathy and... We'll have to deal with that in the future in some potential Scorpion Empire scenarios. What if I didn't have to do that when I keep him alive, when he's on my side in these World War II scenarios? So that'd be pretty interesting. Let's see how that actually happens. No movement in the north so far. Yeah, I want to get that medic out of there ASAP. Because again, unfortunately in this game, specifically, Geneva suggestions, right? <laughs> I do not mind putting Monty in a city since he does have a crossfire ability. And when you take a city, the enemy generally tends to focus on the unit in that city. Ouch. Owie. But I do have Gaimon on support. Don't mind that. Let's cap Luxembourg. Didn't really need to do that since Rommel will have captured it anyway. Now our guys are in the fight. They've joined the fight. So we do need to help them out. As much as we can. Can we drop that out of the fight? Do not mind. Um... This is, excuse me, a bit tough. I don't see any units threatening us to the north. And what I presume is, I don't know, somewhere in northern France. Okay, let's continue along. Let's just get you out of there, eh? 329, damn, I like those big numbers. Let's capture this and let's get our allies into the fight. I would like to drop a medic into the fight so I can have Alfred potentially survive this fight. Let's just get rid of the, that, whoa, I command him now. That was unexpected. Okay, um. Well, he might die because of that. <laughs> you are in the forest and you do have a good, nice low chance of delivering a good attack. So let's deploy who's up next. You know it's going to have to be the BM-21 with Brook configured like so. Take your pause whenever you'd like. Next up is going to be Darian. Let's end up leap, knock that guy out. Let's try to knock you out. And you. Oh, you always want to work your way up from the easier to the harder, which I didn't do. My own foolishness. Well, 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 if it isn't the consequences of my own actions, you have to forgive me that I did not read 
what was actually going on with the, um, whatchamacallit, events? Not quite sure. Alfred, remember, is an Air Force commander. So let's use him like one. Let's put him in an Air Force city. In a city with an airport. Excuse me. Doink. I'm fine with that. Remember, Malinovsky does have some sort of bonus. And Rommel is in the black at the moment. So let's knock out all of these units nearby. Malin moves fast, so I don't mind putting him into a city. And let's greatly increase our economic and industrial output over these next two next few turns. Um, we have lost Leclerc. No, we have Leclerc. We have all of our commanders at this at, at this moment. That's actually quite good. 235. Don't know if you can do that, but I know you can do this when you're fighting in the plains. So let's do that. And let's splash them where we can. Let's see if there's any consequences to losing an ally general. I still find the- that's an interesting new mechanic that I can- Oh, let's use Brook and this beautiful Splash! Well, we can. Sorry, kind of a basketball fan. Not a big fan of these fortresses that keep on spawning units, but I can get rid of them fairly easy this way. I would have liked to move Rommel up quickly didn't have such a chance. This is going to be a combat medical, which lets me heal up our Alfred. Let's get you out of the way. Let's heal up Monty. Unfortunately, you can't win them all. Ouch. Seems like we're well on our way to getting one of these guys out of the theater on time. We've dropped Mo uh, Gadarian below a half health, which is quite good. Let's let the French have a little bit more economic input. This isn't Settlers of Catan, am I right, fellas? <laughs> LMAO! I am curious to see what happens if I lose Gaimon. He does heal up. Should have attacked that rocket artillery instead. Traitor! I need to get you down to the south. What am I doing? Let's keep you next to a medic in case you need to heal up a bit more. And let's heal you up ourselves. Let's get rid of you. And hopefully you, let's, let's pray this isn't the end of Maretzkov. Curse flat? Curse flat indeed. Oh, might I suggest that you uh, get bent? Ouch. That was not what I imagined. Lieb was getting bent, but not in the way that I had hoped. 179. I moved him up towards underneath Amin because this way he would have a morale boost. Let's capture the city, lose Golemon, because I am still quite curious as to what happened uh, if he dies. 
You don't have, you have lower morale than I do. Uh, you know what, let's just drop an RPG Rocketeer with MacArthur, my tertiary infantry commander. And let's see what we can do here. Splat. Ouch. I've seen Brook do over 1500 damage on your single attack. He was on inspiration and boosted by Malinovsky's the coin strike ability. But damn, that did a lot of damage. So I am still searching that high. Ouch. Uh oh. I would like to be would like to use Lieb in previous in uh, future missions, so. Let's keep our guys alive. Okay, so he's escaped. Good. Oh damn. Fortunately, I don't really need these cities. I just need to get my guys the hell out of there. Hope you guys are enjoying the music. This is from one of my favorite content creators, a guy by the name of Forresty Forest, who travels around the Western United States and Canada in his van with his dog, Rocco. Uh... It's really inspiring me to, you know, move aside from the conventional rat race kind of lifestyle. Um, really opened my mind. I hope you guys enjoy this content. I highly recommend checking it out. Focus the medic first. Work your way up. 179, 178. Less defense here. No such luck. That's fine. Let's... Again, let's see what happens if we lose Gaiman. Gonna target the longer range units first. Engineering unit, really do not give a crap. This is just gonna be a light infantry here. Whoops, can we splat here? Unfortunately, no. No non-demoralized areas to do so. Am I missing anybody? I've got one. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it tweet a bit confused. Did I lose the cleric? Since I expect Monty is going to take some damage, I am moving him away from the plane and putting him to a place where he gets a little bit more of a defensive bonus. Do not want to be putting MacArthur into a place where onto a fire tile. He's going to take damage that way. I guess Moretzkoff is the guy I need to get out of here now. He has... I guess that's... No, never mind. That's just the fact that he's... Did I lose this mission? I don't know. Did they get my guys out safely? <laughs> I haven't really been paying close enough attention to tell. Um, I guess you have to pay very close attention for this mission. 
Again, focusing that infantry, but I guess I'm missing something? Am I? Uh, do I have... Yes, I can deploy... A priest with... Gonev. You know, have I lost any generals? Clearly not. Maybe I've lost the cleric. I hope not. 15 turns. We'll see in 5 turns if I've lost anyone meaningful. But my impression was I got everyone out safely. I thought you were a okay force. I mean, not gonna lie, good for you guys for recognizing the importance of a balanced indu uh, economic industrial output. I would like to use Lieb into the future for these missions, so let's get him out of here. We got France out of the fight, let's back you out. Again, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Have I lost anybody? This is one of the benefits of inspiration, is that when you're attacking, you might be able to get rid of the um, demoralizations, or you might be able to take advantage of the moralizations in these missions. 12... We have not been using Konev. I forgot about him. Let's just back out, keep my units alive, do you not really care? Okay, Paris has fallen, let's keep my guy safe. Let's keep Leap safe. I do like that you're supposed to lose some of these missions, but am I supposed to lose this mission? I don't know. Be gone, thought. I ain't giving up that easy. Bitch, you thought? I hope I haven't lost any units and still lose. That would be quite sad. Fifteen. Oh, by the way, I did upgrade my priest all the way. 
Same goes for the T44. I have 66 T44 units now. Pieces that I don't have anything to do with them. Have we won? Turn 15? I definitely don't want him dying. Let's get him out of the way. So we won. Okay. I guess. That's great. <laughs> Not really a guide or a walkthrough. It's just more of a playthrough. Hope you guys enjoyed. We got this stuff. It's actually fairly useful for me on the ribbon department since I can do this. Check. Check. And I can upgrade. I think... Palsy, who would be my tertiary Air Force slash Navy commander, to do the following. Which means that Chenault Dowding and Arnold, as well as Yamamoto, my top four Air Force commanders, are now completely decked out. I don't use too much air power on Dowding though, however, I do use uh, artillery mobility on him and artillery defense on him. Air Force Commander would be much more suited for Arnold, who I recently upgraded this way. This is what my elite units look like. I recently realized that I ran out of energy when I was upgrading some of my Air Force commanders. So do when you have reached maxed cash or maxed industry or maxed anything else, make sure to trade for energy since that is in high demand. Anyway, next up is going to be mission number three, El Alamein, another World War II mission. Describing the rise of the Scorpion Empire. <laughs> yeah, it's just backstabbing and traitoring here and there. The the human condition, right? Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you enjoyed or learned uh, any new tactics or uh, any new capabilities, uh, please leave a like if you have any questions, suggestions, comments, or concerns. Please leave them in the comments below. I like to read all of the comments. I respond to all of them. I enjoy interacting with my viewers. And if you want to see more content like this, then leave a uh, then please subscribe. It would help me out a lot. I really appreciate it. Uh, anyway, this is the Laidback Launcher signing off. I'll see you in the next one, everyone. Oh, seven, everyone. Peace.